Hello friends, welcome again in this presentation and uh, tutorial series on PLC ladder programming. As we discussed introduction of the PLCs in uh, previous presentation. Now in this presentation I am going to cover these topics which may help you to learn ladder programming. A PLC uh, replaces the wiring between the input and output devices. Instead of being wired together, all equipment is wired to the PLC. The logic implemented uh, through wiring is now a program inside the PLC. So let's start the letter programming. Letter programming note the usual type of the programming as we have seen before such as C or assembly. It is a graphical programming language that uses graphical symbol to provide uh, the PLC with the logical instruction needed to perform control operations. So learning how to use and implement PLC is basically learning ladder logic. There is an interesting history uh, of the ladder program and the virtual relay. <laughs> when PLC first arrived, uh, these were made to replace relay hardware. It was preferred that a minimum retraining uh, would be necessary for the engineers and trade people to operate and implement the PLC. As a result, ladder logic was developed to mimic uh, relay logic or a virtual relay which is not physically exist therefore ladder logic program resemble a uh, relay logic schematic uh, here a circuit L1 and L2 uh, are the terminal which are connected to a DC uh, power supply uh, input with the positive and negative respectively just imagine that you are pulling L2 terminal toward the right hand direction then it become a rung of the ladder as shown in the right hand figure <laughs> ladder logic is uh, so named because the uh, uh, diagram looks like a ladder each step in the ladder or program is called a rung the vertical lines of the left and right are uh, the power rails each rung define one up operation in the control process. The ladder diagram is read from left to right and from top to bottom. Each rung start with one or more input and end with uh, at least one output. A PLC scan the logic of a ladder program rung by rung from top to bottom. Usually all the uh, outputs are updated based on the status of the internal registers. Then the input status uh, are checked and the corresponding input register are update. Only after the input outputs uh, have been resolved in the program execution. Uh, this process are uh, uh, run in an endless cycle. The time taken to finish one cycle is called the scan time. And the typical scanning times are from 10 millisecond to 100 millisecond depending on the uh, size of the program. In ladder programming, uh, the names of the associated variable uh, such as input and output or address of each element are appended to its symbol. Thus, this figure show how the same ladder diagram uh, would appear using uh, Mitsubishi PLCs, Simon, Allen Bradley uh, and uh, Tally Mechanic. Notations for the addresses. A contact input output is assigned to a device that a part of the control process it always follow the state of the device it can be assigned to an input or an output or even a variable in the PLC memory so here a figure A indicates a rung of the letter program which has an input from address x400 and an output to address uh, y430 uh, when wiring up uh, the input and output to the PLC, the relevant input output device must be connected to the input and output terminal with these addresses. In next slides, uh, I am going to discuss most of them one by one. Uh, each PLC manufacturer uh, has its own brand of uh, ladder uh, logic programming, though they are all very similar and if you can uh, uh, program in one manufacturer uh, ladder logic language it is easy to use all of the uh, other uh, brand of PLCs here are a few standard symbol the power rails the open and close contact and the output device or coil 
power is always set to flow from left to right power flow through an open or closed contact depending on the input condition and if power can get to an output device is turned on uh, contact are always on the left side of the ladder and the output device are always on the right side of the ladder so the contact and the output device can either be real input and output connection on the plc or they can be a special function uh, special functions in the ladder program now the timer uh, timer works on the internal clock uh, uh, take a, uh, take it as input so there are the two type of the timer on delay type and uh, off uh, delay type the on delay type timer works on uh, uh, our sensor or input turns on the timer waits for a specified time before the activating solenoid or output and uh, whereas the off delay time uh, type timer is opposite to an on delay type timer in other words when the input turns off the timer waits for a specified time before the deactivating solenoid or output. Uh, next is the reset used uh, to restart the timer or counter and the counter may be count up or down depending on the external input pulses. So power only flow through a normally open contact when the device assigned to the contact is in its own state. Here figure A is the electrical circuit and figure B is ladder logic. Switch A and switch B have both to be closed to energize the uh, output uh, or solenoid which thus gives an end logic situation. And the for or logic gate uh, input A or input B must be on uh, for there to be an output. Power only flow through a normally closed contact uh, when the device assigned to a contact is in its off state. So for power uh, for a NOR gate, the both input must be low to energize the output and uh, for NAND gate, both input must be high to de-energize the output. So XOR2 table will be followed by this ladder diagram. This is an example of the on delay uh, timer. As the input is turned on, timer will start and when it is used to specified uh, time limit, timer energizes the output. The special function modern PLCs are capable to performing uh, a special function such as mathematical logical function or uh, complex PID functions. Here the example, consider a motor operated uh, by a button uh, for a, as long as the button uh, is held down, the motor will be on. When the motor is on, an on light must be uh, on. When the motor is off, the off light must be on. Here uh, is an example uh, of how contact can follow the state of an input or output device. The contact label button follow the state of the uh, state of a button wired to the PLC. The contact labeled motor follows the state of the motor output devices. Uh, sometimes it is necessary to hold an output energized even when the input is depressed. A simple example of such a situation is a motor which is started by the pressing a push or a start button switch. Now the switch contact to not remain closed. The motor is required to continue running until a stop push button switch is pressed. The term latch circuit is used for the circuit uh, to carry out uh, such an operation. It is a self-maintaining circuit in that after being energized, it maintains uh, the state uh, until another input is received. Uh, this figure shows the front face of the Q02H CPU PLCs. So Mitsubishi Q02H CPU series PLCs can be used to perform a range of operation from basic operations such as driving input and output to provide uh, or uh, to driving a servo motor in conjunction with the motion control module. So here are some LEDs which is show the status and the operation uh, carried, uh, carried, out by, uh, carried by the PLCs. So mode LED shows the uh, uh, mode of the CPU, then LED shows the status of the operation of the CPU, battery LED shows the status of the CPU battery, 
boot LED shows the start or stop of the PLC booting process. So it is about the uh, uh, Mitsubishi Q02 HCPU series. Now let us start getting familiar with the hardware components. Q02 HCPU is powered by the uh, Melsac Q61P A1 uh, power supply module. The Q3 CPU is then expanded with the QX10 inputs and QY10 output uh, modules. The figure shows the system overview. In the above figure, Melsec power supply is the power source for all of the other modules. Uh, the Q3 CPU runs the main program that may utilize positioning module and input modules. JS Developer is the Mitsubishi ladder editing software used to program Mitsubishi PLCs. The first uh, figure show how to JS Developer is used to perform uh, reading from PLC and writing to PLC operations. The second figure explains the connection. The host PC or the computer is connected to the PLC or through uh, an USB cable. The GX developer software is the ladder editing and programming uh, software used to design ladder logic program for Mitsubishi PLCs. So I will try to familiar with this uh, with the GX developer software and some of its function uh, in next tutorial. So in next tutorial uh, on it I will introduce you about GX developer, its functions and uh, demonstrate you ladder programming on this platform. So thank you.